Hello friends. Well, sure feels like here we go again. <laughs> um, a fourth wave not coming already upon us. Um, back to masks being mandatory in all um, enclosed spaces, um, inside spaces, including our churches, of course. And so we can have a sense, yeah, been there, done that, once more. But I think that something has changed, or is changing, because the situation is constantly evolving. Now there's also um, thoughts, and thoughts being shared, of this nature. Because this is a epidemic, pandemic, of the unvaccinated, why don't those people just get vaccinated. And then on the other hand, there's, hey, I have control over my body. I make my decisions. No one's going to tell me what to do. This is not a communist country. I have my rights and freedoms. And, um, you know, if you hold those two discourses together, what you get is people lobbing grenades of vitriol at one another. It really is. Nothing changes in the heart of people when we deal with each other that way. So, so then, what do we do at this moment? At this moment? And the thing that has been in my mind for quite a while, while this pandemic has lasted, is the question is not, like the question for each and every one of us, okay, and especially as Christians, the question for each and every one of us is not, what do I believe? Because one and the other, we amass our facts from various sources, and then we throw grenades of facts from different sources at one another. Again, no good comes of that. I think the question that we must all each ask ourselves is, why do I want to believe what I believe? You see, there's a huge difference. What I believe, sort of about the head. Why I want to believe what I believe, that's the heart. And I'm going to say the spirit. Okay? So let me just share with you why I want to believe what I believe. Well, I want to believe that God our God, in His fatherly love, in the love of His Son Jesus, especially on the cross, is, is an immeasurable love, is a love that is of all power to lift, to give life, to redeem, to save, to reunite. I believe, I want to believe that God is love. And I want to believe that out of that love He has created the universe. And that His beloved children, to His beloved children, each and every one of us, each and every one of us, He has given us um, the gift of intelligence, the desire for good and in this particular situation then that science is the use of intelligence for the common good. Uh, I really, I want to believe that what scientists or the whole scientific enterprise is doing is of God. And I want 
start to believe that then uh, I should be part of that as an Archbishop of the Catholic Church. So what I'm saying is, this is not a persecution of the Church, not at all. That I want to believe that God is love leads me to cooperate, to want to be part of this effort to defeat as much as we can this virus in its evolving kinds and to keep everyone safe, alive, well, and especially the vulnerable, especially the vulnerable of all of our world. I want to believe that God asks me, asks us to be a forthright, open, fully cooperative part of this effort. Church and government working together. Church and science, public health, working together. I, I profoundly believe that. Because I want to believe in a God who unites and brings things together for the good of all. And I will always act out of that, wanting to believe that. Now, of course, um, another thing is that's being asked is, well, are we going to have to have proof of vaccination to get into our churches, to meet our God, to pray? And the answer is an absolute no. We will never um, oblige people to have proof of vaccination, to have proof of thinking and discerning and wanting in a certain way. That's not the church. The church is a place for discerning together in charity, in shared mercy, um, as together we discern God's will about this pandemic and all the measures around it. Um, the church should never be in terms of something that controls people's thinking and controls people's action. It has been in the past, it still is in certain ways, it should never be about control, but about conversion to the heart of Jesus, the love of Jesus. And so, um, yes, we will not oblige proof of vaccination. We will cooperate with the government in living out the, man, the mandatory wearing of masks inside. We will. And we cooperate with what I believe is good for all. And um, we will pray for each other. And we will pray for our society. Um, that's what I want to believe and that's what I want um, to lead this diocese um, in that way, but especially into that spirit which I believe is the Holy Spirit. Um, but one can never be sure of, I've got the Holy Spirit. It can only be, we have the Holy Spirit given to God, by God, in Jesus, the whole of the Church, and we walk together and we carry one another. Um, it's never same old, same old. It's always the call to grow in faith and grow in love.